Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a, a project from Premiere Rush over to Premiere Pro. What Premiere Rush is, is an app that you can use on your cell phone, on your, that you can use on your smartphone or on a tablet, whether it be iOS or Android. Uh, all Android devices, all, um, all iOS devices. Where I find that, that Rush has helped me the most in is being able to shoot some video, video footage and audio with my phone and then edit it together. And then when I get home later, it will sync it up to the Creative Cloud, all my footage to the Creative Cloud, and then you can edit it on your computer at home in Premiere Pro. You can take over and do some finishing and have, have uh, all the features of Premiere Pro to do your fine tuning, which is really helpful or you can even upload it uh, directly from your phone to YouTube or other uh, video streaming platforms, which is pretty cool. So you can do it all on your phone or you can do some of it on your phone and then, and then finish it later uh, at home. So uh, what I've got here is I've got a few projects. Is when you open it up, you first have a few project windows here. And I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to go down to the little plus button. You can see my thumb here at the bottom moving it back and forth on the screen. That's, that's how you can tell what I'm touching here. So I'm going to hit my little plus button and create a new project. I'm going to hit add media. You can actually uh, shoot footage directly into uh, Rush if you want to. I find it's easier just to shoot it all on your phone in your regular, in your regular ad, uh, camera app and then import it afterwards. But this is actually a little power. This is a quite a powerful editor. It uh, works really well, especially on newer phones. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit videos. I'm gonna import some of my videos here. This does. Vi uh, this does uh, still images and video and audio as well. But I'm going to select uh, some um, some clips here, and you can select them in the order that you want them to load them in, into your uh, into your timeline. So I'm just kind of randomly choosing them here, but you can choose them in any order that you want to if you're kind of familiar with the order that you want them in. I'm gonna, and now, bottom left-hand corner, you know it says sync with CC down here at the bottom. That means uh, if once you're connected to Wi-Fi and you've imported this media, it's going to start uploading it to your to the Creative Cloud. You have 100 gigabytes of space for subscribing to the Creative Cloud, and it will upload the footage to Creative Cloud, and then when you get then when you get home, you can download it to your computer and continue editing it on your computer, which is nice. Now, I'm going to click on the project name here. I'm going to name this, uh, I don't know, Happy Project or something like that. I think I've already got one. Name this My Vacation, whatever you want to call it, if you're doing some uh, some video logging, or some, some vlogging or, or YouTubing, whatever they call it these days. Uh, then I'm going to hit create, create. So once I hit create, notice it did say sync CC at the bottom. Once this pulls it into a timeline, now it's all, all arranged in the timeline in the order that I chose, and you have your playback win window here at the top. You'll notice this little circle up here at the top, right right there, the right of my thumb there. Uh, that circle shows a little blue, uh, blue progress bar. That progress bar will do a full circle. What it's doing there, since I'm on Wi-Fi right now, it is uploading all my footage as I'm editing it here. It's uploading all that media from my phone uh, to, the, to the Creative Cloud servers. So now I'm going to start editing my project here. Uh, I'm not, once again, th this is not a tutorial on how to use Rush as much as it is how to get a project from Rush to Premiere Pro and do, the, do your finishing on it. So right here, I've got my play. Uh, I've got uh, press play. You can play purple wall of my bird. Um, some snow coming up, but when you're walking up, it looks more like this. So, so this is just in my personal video here for my phone. But here on my timeline, a couple of little features you can do is you can do a pinch. A pinch will zoom up and zoom out. If you pinch closer, your fingers together, it zooms out. If you pinch them ap apart, it will. If you pinch uh, together, it zooms out. If you pinch uh, upwards, away from each other, your fingers away from each other, then it zooms in to your timeline. You can see you can see your audio waveforms that have been built on the video clips that have audio waveforms here. And now we can do some editing. Uh, some ways that you can edit is you can grab the end of your clip and uh, just on the very very edge on that kind of thicker orange bar there, and you drag to the left or to the to the right, and it trims your your video clip. Another way of kind of fine tuning it, getting exactly where you need to, is you can get it right where you need to. Say I want it to start right before that little audio waveform starts. By the way, my phone right now is uh, in portrait mode, not landscape. Don't get after me for that being a video person because I rotate my phone to uh, landscape mode, and notice. All it does is uh, rotates the uh, the picture. You can do playback to kind of look at the playback viewer, but to see the whole interface of, of the uh, software, of the app, you have to rotate it into uh, portrait mode. So don't get after me for that, because I know a lot of people, that's a big pet peeve. It's, it's mine, too. I kind of uh, Anyway, so I'm going to scroll through this. So that's, that little blue line is my playhead there. I got it right where I want to do a cut. I can go to the bus bottom bar here and drag this bar to the left a bit until I see those scissors and hit the scissors and it performs a cut. It selected the clip to the left. I can select either one of these uh, clips and I can hit delete and it will delete delete that clip. Send it to the trash there. Now if I want to do a fade in, I can go to transitions and do a cross dissolve and that will fade in. So when I press play. Well, it's just the sun's been hitting the wall here for an hour or so. There you go, it's playing back. 
And uh, I can still scroll through my video here. I can cut it off where I say I want to cut it right there. I'm going to go arrow back here on the bottom, and we're going to go over to my scissors, cut it, select this clip, and delete, and it will do a ripple delete for me. Uh, let's play into this clip here a little bit right there. Do a cut. Let's have this first portion selected, delete it, and let's do a transition, cross dissolve between these two clips here. I'm going to hit transitions, hit cross dissolve, and it's added on both sides of the of the um, uh, select, selected clip. I can zoom in. There we go. Now as we play through this, scroll back a little bit as we play through this, does the dissolve. Now notice this video is a different resolution than my previous video, so it's shrunk down a little bit. Uh, you can fix those by go, arrowing back, go to transform, and we can select, and transform has a whole bunch of scaling and rotation items in here. We can hit scale width and we can zoom that up until it fits the frame and zoom it up to meet, meet that resolution there. So now as we play through, there we go. Same as this one here, we can stop it, hit scale, and scale that up until it fits the frame. So you have a whole bunch of really cool kind of editing features in here. You also have titles. So you scroll over, you can hit titles and add a title to your video. You can select the title templates down here. Select the title template. It will load it to your clip. Uh, let's go ahead and add cross dissolves at the beginning and end of that there. So it fades in, fades out. Cross dissolve. Now my title will fade in and out. Uh, you can move your playhead over it. You can select. Uh, you'll notice the wireframe goes all the way around the around the whole clip here. So you can move your title where you want to. Double click on your title and start typing in what you want. My movie. And you have a whole bunch of title options you can kind of fix in your clip and move around and change. So anyway, those are the kind of the basics on some of the little editing features. It's actually uh, quite powerful. So let's say I get finished with my project. I like the way it is. Uh, you also have some audio manipulation th things in here. You also have up here at the top, right, right to the right of my thumb here, you have an undo feature. You can keep clicking undo for undoing a few steps. You have your share button up there as well when you're finished. You can share it directly to YouTube or other streaming uh, platforms. You can do it. You can see at the bottom you have a speed ramping. Uh, you can actually, just like Premiere Pro, you can grab other clips and put them on top if you're trying to have a video clip play over. Say we got this audio here while, I'm, while we've got my voice talking. Let's play through this. The sun's been hitting the wall here for... An hour or so. There you go. And if you want video to play over that clip, you can actually grab some video footage and grab one of these uh, B-roll clips and grab it and put it on top on the timeline on top of it. So now it'll actually you'll hear the narration underneath. An hour or so. And then it cuts to the video clip on top. So this is very much just like Premiere Pro, but it's got the but it's uh um, it's created so you can just quickly drag and drop with your thumbs and your fingers. Let's go to this clip right here. We're going to rotate that. Let's go to transform. We're going to rotate that. Click on rotation. We're going to rotate it to the left 90 degrees. I'm going to go to scale. And we're going to scale it up so it fits the screen and, and so on. So let's say we get finished with this and now we want to send this to Premiere Pro. Well, all we have to do is we go, uh, we, we arrow back. On the bottom of my screen, I hit arrow back a couple times so it goes back to the main screen. And here's my project window. And uh, there, I've, there I've got at the top my project called My Vacation. Some options that you have on this. Before we go back to Premiere, let me show you. We've got, we hit this little three dots to the right. And it, you'll notice it says rename. So if we want to rename a project, it also has turn sync off. So right now that means it's syncing is on. That circle is gone at the top, so my project is completely synced with uh, with the Creative Cloud. Uh, but you also have delete from device and delete from everywhere. If you delete from the device, it's only going to delete it from your device from your phone device. But if you need to delete it off the off of your phone, off your smartphone, and off of uh, the Creative Cloud, you hit delete everywhere, so it clears off that space on uh, the Creative Cloud. Right now, since that's all synced, let's go to my computer, and I'm going to show you how to import it into Premiere Pro, so you can do some more fine tuning. All right, inside of Premiere Pro here. One thing that I've noticed uh, in importing um, a Rush project is if Premiere is already open when you're working on Premiere on on Rush, it will not it will not have the latest sync project. It syncs it when it starts it up. There might be another way to sync it uh, real time. I know you can go to sync settings, but it makes you sign in again. Uh, so I'd rather not do that. You can just close Premiere and start again. So I'm going to close Premiere and start it up again. Now that Premiere Pro has been um, Reloaded here, I go down to Open Premiere Rush Project. It's going to read your project that's on the CC server. And there it is. My project is now there. So I can click on this now. And this is really simple the way this works. You click on it. It opens up the project. And all my media is here in the timeline, uh, ready to go. I've got my whole project here. Uh, now it's been converted to Premiere Pro. And we're ready to go. I press play. Well, test the sun's been hitting the wall here for an hour or so. 
and everything works. Now, one interesting thing about this is if uh, is where the media is located. Now, as I showed in a previous episode, when you cr your project file acts independently of your media, your, me your, your media is not contained within your Premiere Pro project file. It is separate. It acts separately. Now, the question is, since this was on Creative Cloud, where is my footage? Where is my footage being stored uh, that is now inside my project? You can do that. You can find that out by right clicking on your file and saying Reveal in Explorer. This should, this should show where the media is. On a Mac, it'll be Reveal in Finder. And as I click on that, it will open up the location. And what this has been doing since this has been syncing with um, uh, Creative Cloud, my computer's connected to the internet. Click up here, you'll see this address bar here, you move over. This is on my C drive, this is on my computer's drive, under my user's name, under the Creative Cloud files, Adobe, and so on assets. It plugs them all into this string of, uh, uh, of folders here, and I'm not sure why it's giving it all these different names. It has something to do with the way it's computing. You can move these files into a different folder if you wish to, and relink it to that folder. But if you're just doing a quick project, just a quick cleanup that you're going to upload to something like YouTube, uh, not entirely necessary. So, um, so now we can do some color grading in here. In some future episodes, I'll get into color grading. But if you want to finish things up, if you want to move things around now, you can change things. You can go into your titler and draw, add drop shadows. Go into your color grade here and uh, start doing some color grading on your project. So you can start, so you can go into your color grader here and you can start, start changing, uh, fixing exposure, adding contrast, changing color temperature, and so on. And then once I'm done with my project, I can export it out of Premiere and upload it to YouTube. And this, so this tutorial is really on how to, if you're using that app, Premiere Rush, it's how to get a project from Rush to Premiere to your desktop so you can finish your edit, do the fine tuning, and then master your video to a final project. I will have future episodes where I'm showing how to actually export out videos if you're going to be uploading them to YouTube and whatnot. But I can also click on graphics here. Any uh, graphics that were brought over from uh, from Rush to Premiere, to Premiere Pro, I can edit. I can go into my editor. We can add drop shadows. We can do whatever we want to in here. Change the color and so on. So this tutorial is really about uh, if you are using uh, Adobe... If you are using Premiere Rush uh, on your Android device or iOS device, uh, how to get it from your from your smartphone or tablet to Premiere Pro for finishing up and fine tuning. So, if you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching.